What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on uh, comments that Chicago Bulls point guard uh, Derek Rose made about Patrick Kane and you know how Kane should take them. He um, obviously D Rose banged up a lot in the last two years. You don't really miss essentially the last two full NBA seasons uh, with recurring knee injuries and. You know, it's, it's a shame because not only is he a Chicago native and one of the best players in the game, but he's one of the most likable and respected athletes in the world. And, you know, read an amazing article about him on ESPN.com. You know, came from a real tough area in Chicago. And, uh, you know, in so many ways, living the American dream. I mean, you know, he's got a lot of money and, you know, is a, a big time, you know, athlete and has, has been able to do things that, you know, he never would have dreamed about as his old neighborhood's become like a war zone. Um, you know, in terms of the gang violence in Chicago. And, you know, he's just a guy you, you're going to root for. Um, because he, he plays the game because he loves it, and, you know, the money kind of just comes, you know, second. And uh, what he said about Kane was, you know, how much he enjoys watching him play hockey, but how he wants to be more like him in terms of... You look at the way Kane plays. He's a shifty guy. You know, obviously hockey's a very, very violent game, but he's able for the most part to avoid, you know, major injuries, um, you know, getting laid the hell out because he's shifty, and he's able to, you know, go to... the you know, the high traffic areas and be able to, um, you know, shake defenders. That's what D. Rose said, and he said not only did he say that, but he said Kane's success in Chicago has pushed him to be better and pushed him through rehabilitation and, um, you know, through everything he's gone through in the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, the, the productivity between the two of them has just been amazing. You look at what they were able to do when Rose is healthy, he's one of the best players in the game. And when Kane's on his game, he's as good as he um, he's as good as anyone out there. And um, you know, I think to see a, an athlete in your own city achieve these great heights, like you know, like Kane has, winning two Stanley Cups, for a guy like Rose, who's you know been on some good Bulls teams when he's healthy, that's motivation to go out there and say, all right, you know, he's delivered championships to the city. Now it's on me as a hometown Chicago kid to bring the Bulls, you know, their first championship since the uh, since Michael Jordan retired. And, um, you know, you got to respect that. And just the mutual respect between the two of them um, is just amazing. Uh, there's one quote by Derrick Rose I really like. They, they both live in the Trump Tower in Chicago, which, you know, is, is an okay piece of real estate. Um, and he said, this is what Rose had to say, I live in his building with him, and I see his mom more than I see him. Who knows what he's doing? You just know he's doing something right. He's getting where he's supposed to be. Career-wise, he's playing like he's supposed to be. And, you know, hockey fans may criticize Kane as being, you know, a bad boy of the NHL and all that. But to see an athlete in this city respect, you know, say whatever he's doing, he's doing the right thing because he's an amazing player. He's an amazing athlete. He's a great ambassador of the city of Chicago. And, um, you know, he's um, just the fact that they're pushing each other is something you like to see. Um... You know, because I love Chicago. You know, I'm a Boston guy, lived in Florida, love California, but Chicago is a, a really awesome place to visit and, you know, check out and just a great sports city. It's a great American city. And it's fallen on tough times of violence in recent years. And hopefully, you know, the success of the two teams um, can, you know, bring them some respectability because um, it's tough to find a more likable guy than Derrick Rose. And for all of Patrick Kane's faults, he's a, he's a good guy, I believe, deep down at heart. So, you know, it's a pretty cool read. It's on ESPN.com. Uh, Scott Powers for uh, ESPN Chicago published it so check it out anyway that's all got this episode of the power play with cj on uh derrick rose and patrick kane stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond later guys